Okay, I'm reloaded. Big Dappuccino here. We're going to call this one a uh, then and now video. Then and now. This probably, this is like, I guess the first time I'm doing this. I did something like showcases similar. But this is the first time I used this title. So let's get into it. On the turntable, we got too many GTs. On the left, we got a Toyota Supra based on the 93 to 98 model, known as the Mark, I think it's the Mark IV. Yeah, I think it is the Mark IV Supra. I don't think it's the Mark III. And this is from 2019. And on the right, we got the Mini GT, Rocket Bunny, Pandem GR Super, which is based on the 2020 model. I think it hit straights in 20, 2020, 21, somewhere around there. And the one on the right, of course, has been wide body out. A lot of other one. The old, the older Supra is pretty much the base model. And you see the lens details on the left. I think those are mainly painted details on the right. No, look like lens tail lights on the on the other one. This one on the right has painted details. In the front might be lines. Those might be it's contoured to look like the tail lights. I can't ever tell if they're lensed or that's very well done, of course. That's mini GT right now. Probably one of the top them and Tarmark works. Probably top like domestic think domestic you know I think many GT is actually Japanese I think they are Japanese I don't think I think Tormac works might be I don't know then again they might be it's kind of gets kind of flaky because they can be American owned and symbol in China or Japan like most diecast or so. anyway let's move on we got the Honda. We'll start with the Honda. Civic FE that debuted in HW City. Night Burners 2014. Designed by Rio Asada. This is the fourth generation Civic body style. And a replica of the JDM Euro Spec 2 door version known as the SIR. With the infamous dual overhead cam system known as VTEC, only available in Japan until 1992. So, this is weird because we got an SI in the States, but we didn't get a Type R. And I don't think they got an SI over there in Japan. So, this is kind of like, I guess, the two door version of that. This version is, is from. Where I got inspiration from. Then and now 2017. White with the D-O. Excuse me. The D-O-H-C. And V-Tech. Uh, logos on the side. Chrome and red. Black. PR5 wheels. And the Martin version. Martin as I could get. I do have. I don't think. I even though I have a mini GT version of this I decided to go with the Honda 2016 Honda Civic type R casting from uh, Hot Wheels this debuted in then and now 2017 designed by Rio Sada again the late great Rio Sada this is a high performance version of the Honda Civic FK2 type R that was produced from 
2015 to 2017. It came from the factory with a turbo charger instead of being naturally aspirated. And I think the one on the left is a left hand drive. I think the one on, on no, the one on the left is right hand drive, and the one on the right is left hand drive. And of course, this is the then and now 2017 version that I talked about the debut in the first color variation in white. Detail head and tail lights, tight R badge on the grill, cone red and black J5 wheels. So both of these are main lines. But this is a right hand drive. And I think this is a so tinted you can't tell. It looked like a left hand drive. Next, we're going to go with the Mazda RX-7 95. Well, first, the premium version. Yeah, this is not the 95. This is the Mazda RX-7. Uh... 1982 Johnny Lightning replica from JL uh, Import Heat 2021. This is the FB series. And I had to put something in there so you could see the engine, see the air cleaner and stuff. It's not too much detail in there. The air cleaner is blue. The engine, most of the engine is black, so you can't really see. And it's small anyway in real life, so. And this is a left hand version. Counterpart to this, the '95 Mazda RX-7 Hot Wheels. This is a uh, well. I'll talk about it. It debuted in then and now 2017, designed by June Ame. This is the FD3S version, model version. Replete, excuse me, produced from 1993 to 2002. That featured the first of a mass produced, excuse me, sequential twin turbo system that was developed with the help of Hitachi. This is the Car Culture Street Tuners 2019 version in yellow with the gray RR10, excuse me, the gray RR10 SP wheels. Man, I'm sure a lot of y'all got this one. Even though a lot of people were grabbing this up, I was lucky to get this one. There's a mainline version in yellow too that I have, but it doesn't have, I don't think it has tail lights. I think only the blue version color variation that I have has full detailed tail lights and headlight well front indicators in the uh, for the main line. Hmm. Yeah, first let's go with the the Mazda. And we got a uh, Mitsubishi 
Evo 9 from Johnny Lightning Import Heat. This is from the Rally 2 pack. It came with a Honda Civic 98, Honda Civic 2. And this came out in 2018. And of course, look at the detail. Tail lights is done. I like the white wheels on this. Headlights are done. No opening features. But it's executed well. I think those that's all painted details. Uh, really execute delivery on this one is iconic. Um, it's really a cool looking car. But the later one, which ain't too much later because they don't even make this model anymore. They stopped making Mitsubishi Lancer Evos a while ago. I think it's been close to 10 years. 10 years or either. They stopped in 2018. I can't remember. And this version from the main line is a Hot Wheels. I thought it was a matchbox because it looked like a matchbox. But this is a Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. Evolution, I'm sorry. And this is 20. Yeah, 20. Yeah. 2008. Y'all know what I was trying to say. Debuted in 2008. New models designed by John Violet. This is a 2008 new models debut version that I just talked about with chrome 10 SP wheels and dark red paint job. The tail lights on this bad boy is done. You see the logo. It's very oversized. To be honest, it was True 64. It'd probably be the same size as that, that uh, this one is, even though this stance is a little down, big and bulky. I guess that's the only way they could uh, get the details in. This is a left hand drive. Both of them look like they left hand drives. I can't. This one's tinted with the windows open. Yeah, so it is a left hand drive. I love Johnny Lightning and Fort Heat and the next series I'm about to show. I like them too. This is a green light. This is from No, I'm gonna say that one for last. Plus well this is a green light too, so it's about the same thing. Green light. And this is the 1970 Datsun 240Z from Greenlight Meekum's Auction 2017. I had this car since 2018 though. And there's no opening features on this. It's just very well done. I think the taillights are glass. I see plastic back there. The way it's reflecting, indicators done. I think the headlights are inserted too. Yeah. Stock wheels could be a little better. This is just supposed to be stock for the, And of course, it's a left hand drive. US spec. And. The main line counterpart to that was the, the modern version. This is the Nissan Z Proto. It debuted in Factory Fresh 2022, designed by Lindsay Lee. The name I haven't heard before, but I think he's one. I think I've seen him in a video that was done on a content creator's channel. Factory Fresh 2022. This is the first variation. This is Ica 
Zuki, Akazuki Yellow, with the detailed head and tail lights, Nissan badges on the front and back, with the gold PR5 wheels. And I think this bad boy is a left hand drive too. Can't tell because they didn't tinted this thing fully out. Yeah, it's a left hand drive. Notice they're trying to get away from Japanese manufacturers are trying to get away from strictly right hand drives for the Japanese market. Because they don't want to go through that headache of, of making these many right hand drives for Japan and this many for left drives for American. So, you know, some of the right hand drives go to Europe too. So. Next, last but not least, and this was going to do this. Oh, all that fun. We got our 1971 Nissan Skyline GTR from Green Light Tokyo Torque Series. This came, I think I had this in 2018. I think it's 2018. And actually, it's called a Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR to be accurate. You can see the hood opens. You can see the engine block. And they got a distinctive look to this car. The engine, the with the red on there and I guess they call them the throttle bodies for these older GTR engines very intricate highly coveted car in Japan even to this day and this one has lens uh, tail lights and the headlights, I think, are, are painted. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think they're painted. This bad boy is so authentic looking clean, man. I was shocked. It was cheaper as it was. At the time, people were going crazy over the oversized uh, Hot Wheels, even the main lines. And so we got the main line version, counterpart, which is a 2017 Nissan GTR from Hot Wheels, main line, debuted in Night Burners. 2017 designed by Rio Sada again the late great and yellow then and now 2021 version is what you see on the turntable has detailed head and tail lights yeah I couldn't get the correct deep information about the uh, wheels but you see them they're red and black I think they're like tennis but So that's pretty much it. That's this now and then, or then and now <laughs> um, showcase. As always, I want to thank the subscribers for holding me down. Like I always say, this is not the best diecast channel. It's not the worst either. Model here show a little love for the diecast. I encourage new new uh, viewers to hit the uh, subscribe button. Hit the uh, notification button leave a like behind leave a reply behind and just keep in touch man that's basically it man until the next time this is big dapper chino signing out